I'm the Avatar, and I'm gonna save the world. How did it feel to be in your costume for the first time? The first time I was in costume and like makeup and everything, I was bald. I had an arrow on my head, and I looked like Winnie the Pooh. So <laughs> anyway. <laughs> It was pretty so awesome. Facts. And the first person he thought of was Winnie the Pooh. It's just so crazy to love the cartoon and love all these characters and then actually see it like in front of your eyes and let alone it being yourself is like, it's crazy. I cried. Well, like Cinderella going to the ball for the first time, right? Like you're there. It's like, oh my God, it's Iroh standing in front of me. I am him. We had already done like so much prep and we'd done the two and a half weeks of boot camp at that point. And so it was really cool to just like have the physical physicality of like, oh wow, this is who I have been preparing to like play. It felt like once the costume was on, hair and makeup, we were the characters and that was that. It was interesting to me to see the moment where I would see other people reacting to me in wardrobe and full makeup for the first time. I remember walking onto set and people were naturally kind of getting out of my way. And you know, I would hear the occasional, whoa, Ooh. <laughs> you know, and it allowed me to kind of fill out my character because that's the kind of power that Ozai wants to have and, and actually enjoys. Have I not led us to the brink of bringing the entire world under one rule? Our rule. What was the first thing you learned in Bending Boot Camp? Oh, La Toy. La Toy. <laughs> Bowing before you go onto the mat. Oh yeah. We like knew that. We've done because yeah. we have like a martial arts background. Oh, yeah. The first thing I learned I felt like was La Toy, which is like yeah. the breath work. Yeah, with with each style of bending, they had us breathe differently, mm -hmm. similar to like how Ira says like, you know, bending is in the breath. Mm -hmm. so, there were many different ways to bend fire. And so we had to be specific about each way. You know, whether it was a ball of fire that we were creating or a stream of fire we were creating, each had its own particular not only move but movement. If you had your own appa, the sky bison, where would you go? <sighs> yip yip. <laughs> appa, yip yip. Where would you go? I would go back home to Hawaii. I haven't been there in a while, mm. and uh, I'm a little homesick. Yeah, no, I think I'd go to Hawaii because I'd never been there. And I'd visit Daniel. That's right, he has yeah. a friend in Hawaii. There you go. Taurus, what you gonna do? I wanna be in the oasis, in uh... the Northern Water Tribe. I wanna see that oasis, where I wanna see the little fish. <laughs> <laughs> so tranquil. What was your favorite day on set? There was a day that we were on the volume, but the volume is a big virtual uh, stage, and there's like literally thousands, almost millions of LED lights that projects, and in the middle of it was a big boat, and the artist had rendered a port and the waves, and they had built in this subtle rocking motion, so it felt like you were actually on a boat, and half the crew got sick because of that they got motion sick even though the set was moving your brain that's how good the virtual stage was rap day was like mm. a really big day i stayed the whole time till like everybody finished because i'm like oh this is sad it's over and you were like crying no. i know I was we like, were all like, we were I all like oh no because we're all gonna miss each other and we yeah. didn't know if we'd ever see each other again <laughs> here we are uh-huh oh.